I want to show you something I call the love and hip hop green screen effect. And basically I just named it after love and hip hop because that's where I first saw it. So if you don't know what love and hip hop is, don't worry. It's pretty much a ratchet show. If you don't don't know what the word ratchet is, you can go to urbandictionary.com and, and figure that one out. But anyway, I just like it because it's basically you're moving on green screen um, and the background is blurred out. So let's look at a clip. Uh, no audio, of course, if I have audio, who knows what they would say. Okay, so and there it is. Okay, so they basically move and they do a nice little flash frame um, when they have the confessionals. I really like how that look. I had some people ask me, how do you do that? So what you need to do is have, first thing you need to have is great or good green screen footage. Um, I'm not going to show you how to light a green screen. Uh, there are many tutorials out there. Uh, my partner, Monty, will probably be doing one about how to light a green screen. But then I really feel that medium shots work best. If you go back and we look at the footage, you see they are medium shots. The shots from about the belly button up. Those work real, real best. All three of those shots are all the same. Then they zoom in. All right. And then to do it, we're going to do two things. We're going to have a photo in the background, three things. We're going to place a Gaussian blur on the photo. And then we're going to use keyframes to move the background photo. I'm going to use Final Cut Pro 10, but you can easily do this in Adobe Premiere. Avid, After Effects, uh, Final Cut Pro 7, Sony Vegas. I'm just going to show you the principles and then you can apply this to your uh, specific editing program. So let's jump to our editing program of choice, Final Cut Pro 10. All right, so we're in Final Cut Pro 10. I'm going to go ahead and start here at the beginning with Fab. And that's our talent here. We're just going to do a, a 10 second clip of him. Um, I don't want any, well, I'll take the, the audio right now. I'll just put it down. I'm going to hit W to put him in a timeline. Let's get that gap click there and then we'll just turn them down. All right. So then we want to find a, um, a background. So I like this photo right here. So we'll just drag this photo down here. So what you need for a key, you need a top and you need a bottom. And before I even do all of this, I'm going to just stretch my photo out. And then as you see on the photo, it doesn't come to the end. So uh, in a previous lesson, I showed you how to just hit the info. And once you click on it, make sure it's highlighted yellow. And if you click fill, it should fill it. But we're not going to even worry about that because all we're going to do is scale it up to 100 and maybe let's just say 180. Okay. 181. That's going to give us a reason to move it. We'll keep fab down 30 seconds. And... We'll go under our effects and we'll hit key. And once we hit key here, we're going to put the key. Remember, fab's on top and then the key right there. OK, so it doesn't look like the uh, love and hip hop because it's not blurred. And we're we're not going to go into the details of Final Cut Pro King. I, we'll do another tutorial about that and how to invert it and how to fill holes and all that good stuff and adjust it. But just first swoop that the key is pretty good in Final Cut Pro 10. So we're going to close that effects panel out right now. And now what we're going to do, actually, we're going to go back into the effects panel and then we're going to go back into blur and Gaussian blur. We're going to put a Gaussian blur on the background. Now we do that. Fab does stand out, but we need to put this down till about, I like to do it till about seven. A six, seven, doesn't matter. 7.37 7, or I can just type seven right here and type enter. Okay. So you see the background just like in the preview, but you don't see it. So I think it's pretty good. You know, it's a bookcase, you know, it's a, a place where he is, but you don't really know where, where it is or how it moves. The second thing we're going to do, and I'm going to close this out, the effects. I'm going to do something called keyframes. And when I used to hear keyframes, I used to get, oh my gosh. Um, very scared because I didn't know what was going on and animation and I don't know how to animate, but basically I'm going to click on this transform tool, <coughs> hit the plus sign up here, make sure that the photos to use the bottom is highlighted. Then what I'm going to do is move my cursor down all the way. Actually, I could just hit the apostrophe and then I'm going to go back one frame. And then what I'm going to do is move it over the background. I can move it straight, move up, but usually on the same plane. And you see, I'm getting to the end. 
So I'm going to stop right there. Now, when I go back, watch what happens. Okay, you can't really see here, but so let's make it larger. And of course, my battery is running on reserve. <laughs> so you see how it's moving in the background. You see a little bit of green right here. It's not keyed perfectly yet, but at least you see where we, we can go uh, with this. So um, that is our tutorial for today, how to move it. Remember, when I said when talent moves their hands a lot on green screen, especially with stuff, you can always see where I stop. That's where it's going right now. It's going to stop. Okay. You see the green artifacts around his hand? You do see that. Okay. But that's how you do it. That's a brief tutorial on how to make the green screen uh, move effect that you see in that show, Love and Hip Hop. If you have any questions, you can always email us at ask at webvideochefs.com or tweet us at webvideochefs or Facebook us, facebook.com slash webvideochefs. And we will see you soon.